and uh, today we've got a little bit of a quick unboxing and a little quick review of the Rotolite Neo 2. I had it this morning around about 8 a.m. this morning and uh, very excited to do a unboxing and a little quick review if I can get uh, on with it straight away. So this is the Neo 2. As we can see it's got a Jason Denier photo on the front. It is classed as a game-changing light. Uh, if you don't know about the uh, Neo 2, it's actually a LED light and it is actually a flash strobe unit as well to one eight hundredth of a second. So I might actually take the cover off. Side. Right, put it over there. So here is the Rotolite Neo 2. So if we undo the box, you can see what we've got inside. That is the trigger we're going to it. So this is the box, it comes uh, packed up. I've actually taken it out to obviously check it was okay. But, uh, we'll run through it again. So obviously we've got a mains adapter there for the UK and obviously that will be sent to suit your mains in your country. Uh, it comes with a four uh, standard pack. So we've got uh, white diffusion and three others there as well. Obviously you've got instructions and we've got some kind of strap for the rose light. If we open the pouch, nice pouch there, you've got uh, spaces to keep spare AA batteries. It runs on six AA batteries. I uh, recommend getting some rechargeables. We'll take the box out of the way, shall we? A little bit more room. So, this is the Rotolite Neo 2. So, oh, it comes with a attached uh, cold shoe so you can attach it straight to your camera and use an LED. I do believe if you've got a PC sync port on your uh, camera you can use that uh, attachment there and make it flash straight off your camera. That's something uh, you'll have to check your camera manufacturer. I know the Sony A9 has got a PC port. Uh, as I say it runs off six AA batteries and if we compare it, I have got one here, the Roselite Neo 1. So you can see it's exactly the same size and the main difference I can see straight away and that's why it's probably 85% brighter is there's more LEDs there if you count them. It's probably double the LED capacity of the Roselite Neo 1. So, you can use this with obviously AA batteries as I said, but uh, I have purchased a battery pack uh, which you use for cameras, uh, professional cameras, and these come with a D-tap out, and if you get a D-tap out uh, lead, some do come with the battery packs, and then plug it into your mains so if we turn this on we can see it is quite bright that is lighting up Neo 2 brightness 100% that is quite bright I can't even look at it that is very bright on 100% that is being powered by the battery pack with a deep tack cable into a 2.5 millimeter uh, port which also is where your mains cable goes as well you can plug into the mains and get a brighter power as well I do believe. Right this is the Neo 1 it's got batteries in it so you can see it just lights up Neo and we'll put that to 100% and this one to 100% and obviously you can see it is a lot brighter it's probably blinding the camera so I won't do it too long so that is the Neo 1 exactly the same size exactly the same build up this is being run off the DTAC battery and um, be nice to try it with AA batteries both together right this is the Elecrom uh, 
high speed sync transmitter for the Sony camera. There it is for the Sony. Um, so this fits on top of your camera to obviously power the flash and talk to the flash on the rotor light. And it comes with a a uh, USB yes a USB uh, cable there that is probably for doing your updates if you need to do any updates I do presume it comes already updated this runs off to a uh, battery so if you can get some rechargeable batteries you can probably best to buy an 8 pack so you've got two for your controller and then six for your rotor light uh, obviously I'm filming on my A7 Mark II so we'll stick this on to the A6500 to try it and I do believe I've never I haven't tried this yet so I do believe you've got to put this on and go into menu to flash and I do believe you've got to search for here we go it's just coming on now scanning and it will find it if we turn it around you can probably see it it is scanning and what's it say on there Neo 2 so power yep 100% yes it's found it straight away that's an easy setup so Neo 2 up and controlling the power if we look we can actually see that I am controlling the power with this transmitter and I believe you can do this for up to 200 meters away and it works through very thick brick walls I do believe as well so that is controlling the power turn it off for now we'll stick it on to the A6500 see if we can get it to flash so if we put it on and then put the transmitter on you go scanning it should find the Neo 2 again which it has so if we go into back of our camera and we change uh, wrong one yeah let's go back into this if we up our speed it's up to two thousandth of a second obviously that'll be high speed sync and uh, Here we go, see if we can make it flash. So here we go, see so what happens. It is flashing, there we go, 100%. There we go, we can control it here. That's the 50th of a second. So, there we go, flashing quite nicely. I think I've got this set up to um, I think I've got to put this on to flash mode fill flash I think I'm going to put this onto wireless I think to make it work it's flashing yet yeah. onto wireless so it's onto wireless if we go into that up with drive mode is on low so I make that into high we should made about this there we go straight out of the box easy setup there we go so that is on one to one I do believe 50th so there we go so straight out of the box I haven't even touched the transmitter uh, and we're away scanned it found it and there we go but this I do believe on the DTAP battery pack will make this flash 500 times more powerful than the normal LED mode as well so we'll see how it goes I'll take a picture of the camera there we go no problem flashes every time so that's my little review of the Rose Light Neo 2 I hope you enjoyed that um, obviously we need to learn how to control the
flash power mode on the um, transmitter straight to the Neo. So that's something we can look into the instructions and probably there'll be some YouTube videos on that very shortly. Uh, I'll probably do one myself when I find out how to do it. So hope you've enjoyed that. I'm Paul Rose from Mr. Rose Photo. Dot com. We'll see you next time on the next video. Keep shooting. Bye.